Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Void. I'm Player One. I'm Player Two. And introducing special guest. My name is Chef. Chef. How, How did she get here? I don't know. She just kind of materialized, she just like. My then... name is Chef. <laughs> welcome to the first episode of Bang and Rump Rump. Uh, yeah. So, we're here. Well, we're in it. Let's go. English. Yeah. Unfortunately, I, do yeah. Not, I, I cannot read Moon speech. Well, no, it's not. It's not text. It's speaking. But, but English. English. Even though there's one peeve I have with the English. The logic difficulty kind. Yeah, we probably should just do normal. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, look, it's a peep. Never mind. Uh oh, oh. What? Oh, 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 oh. Blast off. Damn, this kid felt really bad to die from space. Blah, 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 blah. Directly in the ground, lock it at Mach 10. Damn. Oh. 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 No, he he oh, he, he dead. He dead dead. Uh. Gone. Giggling as bears swear. I wanna eat it. You wanna eat the bear? In a non-sexual way. <laughs> Let me clarify. That's not, not what I was. <laughs> the massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. How? Hope's it's Peak Academy. Sense. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Unfortunately, it was taken over by a demonic bear. Shh. Not, not, not yet. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students. Was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. It's not Naegi. It's not. I don't know why in this whole series they don't know the me. A sound. It's Makoto Naegi. There is no two sounds, it's one sound. I just thought it was Negi. Negi? Ne he sounds like a bottom. That's kind of sus, though. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong, No, that's pretty this... sus. Yeah, <laughs> no, you're right. That boy Makoto. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even so personality. What is that he's small. <laughs> I know he's the ultimate soft boy. <laughs> small people <keep the> energy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was, my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. 
That's just who I am. He's the ultimate average boy. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. I've got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. <coughs> Continue. <sighs> but it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Oh, no. <laughs> I shaved every part of my body. <laughs> 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 Post oh, peak only I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Post peak only invites those students who are the truly elite in their field. <laughs> Continue. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students, who are way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. She dies first. You don't know that. You don't know shit. I'm calling it now. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. What a ball kind of look like? Ball. That ball is deformed. What do you mean? It looks more like a boomerang. No, no, no. You see, like, the two sides, and it's got the little thing. It kind of looks like the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, teams already have their eyes on him. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. Oh, it's the crazy bitch. Call it now. These first three people, besides the main character that we're introduced to, die. She's no, been on the... That, that, the bitch with the blonde hair is crazy. She doesn't die. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. The oh. scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love that guy. Guessing he's gonna be one of the murderers. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat would wander into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me? Without any talent or anything? No. No. That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to say why. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> uh, they spelled it out plain as day. I got invited. <laughs> Next bit, please. <laughs> Sorry. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. But then actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before, and I took my first step toward the main hall. 
and he was immediately hit over the head and mugged by all the students and left to die. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7.10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. Damn, this man's almost an hour early! Makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? They'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Did he just speak out to himself? Yeah, blue is blue is thoughts, white, he's talking. So he's just, he's just talking. He, he, just, he just talked to himself. Yeah. Wow, we haven't even started the game and he's already losing his mind. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step mm. into Hope Speak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> What the? But the instant I took that first step forward... Knock the fuck out. My view became warped. Twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment... Everything went black. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I had brought to Hope Speak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Oh, that's not ominous. Welcome to despair. The prologue. Oh wow, already a safe point. Didn't, nice. Didn't do nothing, okay. What was that? No, was he made? Mm -hmm. What? Where am I? You got knocked the fuck out. I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? <clears throat> Welcome to Hope Speak Academy. Firstly, I'd like to explain the basic controls. Who's speaking to us at this moment? Uh, Tutorial Man. Where is he? Ooh Wait, what the hell's wrong with the windows? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. It looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it... Yep, definitely metal. Thick, too. Very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? I need the ultimate wrench. Then I can get rid of those plates. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep these weirdos from wandering in. In the classroom? I... Huh. Uh. That looks more like a TV camera than a surveillance camera. Oh, so I find out how everything's a PNG. Yeah. There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. That's a small TV. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Oh, there's something on the desk. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. Mm. I've done that. Yeah. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? An orientation guide? Hey there, new kid. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. That doesn't sound ominous. Not at all! What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. 
some kind of cheap looking pamphlet. And there's something handwritten on it. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? No. No, it, you're fucked. Open the door? Yes. Better look around the cloud. Okay. Never mind. H how? For what? Well. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? So what might have happened is, I got myself so wound up I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here? If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows? It's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. Sorry to pass the meeting time. There might be other students there now. Don't leave by so. Yeah. Ooh. This is a very purple hallway. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Now we, uh. Nice. Now we uh, weird uh, first person dungeon crawl. Uh, this looks Ooh. like a, this looks like a very strange level in FPS. We despair hotel. I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight. But why despair? Dis despair. 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 He's nuts. I think he just passed the monster room. The AV room. It's locked. Oh. Yeah, I don't think we can go nowhere. What's with the money room? School store. So this is where we're supposed to go. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Kid? Can I just... Jesus Christ, that lady's jacked. That's a lady? I love her. She looks like a fucking JoJo's character. I Good love her. God. Huh? Why are there turrets? Know. Oh yeah, there are turrets. Yeah. And what's with the bank You're vault door? Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So counting him, that makes 15. See, Seems I know about like the girl with the points, curl, curly hair, I wonder if this is the everywhere. blonde one, and the gray hair. Those are the only ones I know. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Nike. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was just... asleep. Whoa, you too? The fuck's wrong with that man's hair? Weed man! Ah. Maid? Maid. Maid? Maid. What? Oh, you want me to do it? Uh, things just keep getting curiouser and curious. Motherfucker. <laughs> Come on. God damn it. Come on. Oh, so strange. No, no, no. <laughs> no? No, no, no. He does not sound fat. This is nerd voice. Ah, so strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Actually perfect. He looks like a fucked up hamster. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? Yeah. Oh, no, that's, that's you. Yeah. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Just a moment! There's something else we must address! The fuck's wrong? This guy looks like a more violent version of Hiroshima. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you're aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. It looks like he's about to awaken the Sharingan. The fuck's wrong with his eyes? This to reminds me of the dude from the 
court thing where it's like, objection! Phoenix Wright? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's what that's A that younger, was. more aggressive Phoenix Wright. Yeah. I see. <laughs> to be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? Fight me. What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. I gotta do all the female voices. Well, well, no. <laughs> eh. Oh, fine. Yeah, I'll be here. Everyone, just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? She's oh. actually kind of cute. Biker. Want me biker. to do the biker? <laughs> the hell? Now's no time for friggin' introductions. Of course, you make them slightly sudden. <laughs> also, Look, don't want me to go full in on the song. No, oh, no, please, no. Give her a rush. Also, slightly French. Slightly French? I don't French. know how to do a French. Wee oui, wee oui, baguette. How does a French accent sound? Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who oh, you are. Okay, that would be so cool. Okay, before digging into our bigger problems here. <laughs> I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? I like it. <gasps> oh, that's a cute good, little bit. That's a good point. Oh, basic bitch. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way, then we can move on to whatever else. Sounds good. Beautiful. <laughs> I hate that voice. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Pretty sure she dies soon, so... Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is as good a chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up in that Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but... I still don't know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I don't like how they bounce, especially, mm -hmm. especially the nerd. Oh. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Look at them. Look at them. They, mm, mm. I'm sorry, who who looks like young Lysander? Who who? The dude with the orange hair he looks like a young punk Lysander from Pokemon. Oh, you're I, kinda right. I kinda see it. I hope he dies. Jesus. The Alpha and the Omega! I'm going so, to kick him in the nuts. <laughs> so you, you didn't I hear think that. He'd probably be into it. <laughs> you, you didn't hear that, but when he was talking normally, right? He was nerd voice. When he said Alpha and the Omega, he was like, the Alpha and the Omega. Oh my god. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's cool. I want to invert his organs on the X and Y axis. Oh jeez. Ifumi Yamada, ultimate fanfic creator. Oh, of course. That he's explains a bit. That's like Discord mod status right there. <laughs> By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known for supremely being well for supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. That's <laughs> I've once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comments at a school festival. They went past in a legend. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them. <laughs> but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, the world is of such idiots means nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. That and I keep running myself with a huge throbbing dong. Magnum back. I am a soldier uh, serving night and day to destroy all mindless perceptions about fan fiction and big titty goth GFs. <laughs> I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nagy, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with the deepest meaning and the longest of schlongs. That, yeah, that reminds me of, ah, oh, so you are a man of <laughs> culture yourself. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're a man of culture as well, I yeah. see. That's, that's, exactly that's literally, it's literally him. <laughs> he is the man of culture. What kind of meaning? What, the meaning what, of what kind of meaning? Penis. <laughs> Out embracing our base. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! 
I don't think I want to comprehend it. <laughs> It's 100% uh, So I have an idea for this anime, right? It's about this- it's about this girl who has big hongolongongus. Big bongolongongongus. <laughs> Massive dong hongolongongus. <laughs> Massive dong hongolongongus. What happens next? Well, you see, I transfer students- student comes in with even bigger bongolongus. Even bigger hongolongongongongus. <laughs> We're talking massive bongolongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongongong
I'm so glad you're here. This is by far the funniest episode we've had. We're not even done. Sayaka Maizono. Oh, Jesus. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all over across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. I want you to look at the far right girl. She looks a little... Oh, a little underage. No, no, she looks a little not... She looks a little fugly. It looks like a dude. Hey, I can relate. I'm fugly as fuck. No. But... <laughs> as the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. And more. Actually, no. I'm not wrong. N not really. Wait... How more? do you know? That's sus. Because of course That's I know. Sus. Of course That's I know. Sus. Look, he's the one with the computer, all right? Rule 34. <laughs> No. There's she's a reason like, why I'm not allowed to look at search history. No, she's like at the bottom. Other people are way, way... Okay, but right now you're sort of admitting to it. Oh, but actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd been going to the Just school. Just continue like nothing happened. <laughs> I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like oh, a doll or something. God, is she a child... Oh. Yes. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Jesus Christ, she can read minds. Huh? Did, did you hear me? I'm psychic, fucking bitch. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um, okay, by any chance... Not what? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, uh, Makoto did... Just hold on. Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Oh, sorry. Just got carried away, I guess. I want to kick that man in the nuts. Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Mm, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. It's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Probably not, because she won't die. Oh my god, he has the uh, personality of an angry Eda from uh, uh, My Hero Academia. Mm. Oh gosh. Ah, uh, Taka. Sus. We like Taka in this house. Fuck. You, Ultimate moral compass. You. So that's Kyo Taka. My moral compass is telling me that my hood needs to go in his balls. In his balls? <laughs> I'm gonna kick him so hard. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll hold him in place. Yeah. I'm gonna kick him so hard that it's gonna. Nah. Okay. Move next bit. He can't fight against all of us. <laughs> Jump him. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Nagi, right? Yes. That's a good name. A strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. Uh, he sounds like one of those Christian moms that say, Oh, that's a lovely name whenever you say your name is something from the Bible. Like oh. Joshua or Noah. Oh. Or Gabriel. Oh. And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right. I'm going to break his index finger. This oh, guy is... All of his other fingers. <laughs> th this guy is kind of annoying. I yes. Okay. Oh, buddy. Oh, God. Oh, buddy. What is, what is her voice? Like? Me. Oh. I do. Oh, geez, Scooby. Oh. She's so... She's a soft girl. Ultimate writing prodigy. Why can't I do that? You'll see why. Why? You, you'll see why. Why? Yeah, Pretty she... Pretty sure she turned into a sociopath at that point, so you can do that version. Okay. Yeah, she wrote a novel. Are you though. calling me a sociopath? No, I'm saying you have the aggression in your voice to pull that off. It's a compliment in the highest regard, I promise. Yo, yeah, she wrote, sus. she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. 
The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men hole. Oh, man. I see. Despite her age, you she's one. Because they're already used to the smell of fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! No! <laughs> you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> mm. She's won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers, which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey dovey type, what with her masterpiece being a romance novel. No, when people write about them, dudes, because they're writing out what they can't have. What's your problem? What? It, it's not polite to stare, you know? <laughs> oh god, she's a sooner, eh? Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. I'm correct! <laughs> yes. Filthy creature? No, I just thought... I, I know what you just thought. You just thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You just th thought it was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you... I know you can't stand looking at me. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Yeah, wow, talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Oh, she needs therapy. Ooh, okay. I get to voice the other ones. Now to life. talk to those five people over there. I like Next time. Oh. Yes, it's Damn, it's already been 30 minutes? Yeah. Christ. I've been player one. I've been player two. And my name is Chef. We'll see you next time. Are you losing brains? Yeah, that kind of happens whenever I answer.